Hi guys, it's Ginger. So as you can see, the background isn't very great. Not a lot of anything was put into it, except for all that. But the reason why is because today we're going to be creating something. So we're going to be making the table I have right in front of me. And what we need is a hot glue gun, which is optional, but recommended. And I'll get to why that's optional later on. Sucker sticks, which they can be substituted, but we'll get to that later on. And let's see. Oh yeah, the popsicle sticks. Obviously you need those. Doesn't matter what size it is because they're going to be sanded down anyways, and we'll get to that later. You'll need scissors. Duh, you need scissors for every craft. <laughs> and unusual, but you're going to need a nail file. And if you don't have nail file, then I guess you can use sandpaper, but since we're just working with small popsicle sticks, you don't actually need the professional sandpaper. So, let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get your sticks and just lay them out. And you want to think about, like, how long you want your table to be and kind of what you want to use it for. So my table is going to be a cafeteria table. Now, if your table was a normal table for one person on one side and one person on the other, you want to make it wider than this so you can fit food on it. But schools honestly could care less how much food you can fit on the table. They just want to buy the cheapest tables they can. So it makes sense that it wouldn't be a very wide table. However, it is going to be long. So you can already see that I made my markings right here. That's where I'm going to cut. So yeah, and your markings don't have to be super duper precise because you're going to sand these down later anyways. Um, that's what the nail file's for, but... um. You know, just make them as good as you can get them anyways. So anyways, I'm in the cutting process right now. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. You know, I have the ends off and they line up pretty okay. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. Okay, so now I have all the wood cut down to size. Now we're gonna get into the sanding portion. So basically what you want is a nail file or if you don't have a nail file, you can use legitimate sandpaper. But since, you know, we're just working with popsicle sticks, it doesn't actually matter. So if you're wondering what the heck is sanding and what do I do, all you're doing is just basically smoothing out the edges. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can add a curve to every edge or you can add a curve to this edge and that edge. I'm going to only add a curve to this edge and that edge. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what um, it looks like. So all you're doing is this. All right, so I'm gonna keep going. Sorry, I'm kind of getting off the camera a little. Here, I'll go, ahead, I'll go ahead and put that up a little more. So when you're making the edge, all you're doing is you're literally like you're just curving it. See, so it turns into like this little curve if you're doing it correctly. So it's just like shaping a nail. So, you know, uh, so just pretend you're shaping a nail because that's basically it. So, yeah. And why, if you're wondering why sanding it is so important is because that helps kind of keep you from getting splinters and stuff. So not only does it make it, you know, look a little better, but it helps with the splinters. Because, you know, you don't want to say, oh, mom, I got a splinter from a popsicle stick. What now? Because that's just humiliating. So here I have all of the planks laid out, and they're all um, sanded with the nail file, and they are better. They are better. And, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good table so far. Here's where the hot glue comes into play. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gun and we're gonna go ahead and seal these edges together. So basically we're assembling the table in a way. So just let me show you me doing it. Okay. Now, we're 
going to set this aside. And now we're going to take these two, place them really close to each other, and we're going to put these together. Now if you don't want to use hot glue, you can use normal glue. The reason why I'm using hot glue is because this is going to dry very, very quickly and that's perfect. So now that we have these bits done, sorry if the sound just got muffled, I didn't even realize but I was adjusting the camera and I covered up the part where the sound goes in so I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, so anyways, what you want to do now is you just want to put them together, kind of like, okay, that's all right, yep. All right. So now we just wait for this to dry. It'll literally take like maybe a minute. So once the table's dry, if you notice this kind of thing going on, you can re-sand it a little bit um, just to, you know, I don't know, do what you can to fix it. So after the last time you sand it, you may still notice that things are not perfect. They're not going to be perfect, but that's okay. And if this really does bother you, um, you can... Try it another time and be super careful with your measurements. I wasn't very careful because, I don't know, it doesn't, it gives me a little bit of OCD, but it doesn't, like, totally make me want to rage. It's not, like, the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Okay, so here comes the fun part. This is the part where, yes, you get to use a sucker. So what we're doing now is we're measuring out the legs. So, hold on a minute. I'm going to take this small table right here and use it as a bit of a helper just to get an idea of how long I want the other table's legs to be. So, hold on, I'm going to try and take a measurement. Actually, I'm just gonna take my measurements off camera. You guys probably have an idea of what we're gonna do. I know the camera doesn't wanna focus, but you can see a little line right here. Now, before you make any more lines, cut this bit off. So now that I have this, I'm gonna use it to help mark out where I want my three other measurements to be. Now, to avoid using a glue gun for the part where we level things out, which we'll do in the end, you want to just be insanely precise with this, like, like really take your time cutting this out. Now, I'm just going to use my leveling method that I came up with, but if you don't have a hot glue gun, Trust me, you're going to really want to work your butt off to get the best measurements that you can get. Okay, so all four of the legs have been cut out. Once they're cut out, all you want to do is glue them on. That's super self-explanatory. I don't even need to show myself doing that. And by the way, you don't need a hot glue gun to glue these on. You can use normal glue. Um, you just need to have a bunch of objects to um, stand those up while they're drying which can be difficult, so yeah. So what you have now is this table, and as you can see, not all the legs touch the ground and are not all perfectly level. Now, nobody really knows why this is. I've tried making these tables several times, even when I'm super precise with the measurements, but it never works. So what do I do? Well, I use a hot glue gun, and for this part, you actually have to use a hot glue gun. And what I do is I make these little balls and I put them on the table as like, I don't know, feet. And these things do exist. I don't know what they're actually called, but like my grandma has them on like the bottom of her tables. But anyways, you just need to like keep stacking until it's all as close to get level as you can get it to be, which is really hard, but it can be done. So after some super careful placement of hot glue, you can level out your table. So I have mine leveled. And if you're wondering, is there like a life hack to this leveling portion? There is a little hack that I use. 
See, I would use this, and I would get leveled with this stick, and I would look at the stick to see how leveled everything was with each other. And if it was pretty close, then I knew I was good. And I would use um, the stick to kind of think to myself, okay, do I want a big blob of hot glue so that it's taller, or do I kind of want a smaller one? So, yeah. Um, but the first th but the first time you do this DIY, I'll be honest, the leveling portion is going to take you like a year and a half. But the second time you do it, if you use my life hack, it's super easy. But like for this part, I was leveling for like, oh my gosh, a long time. But that's okay. So once you have these tables done, you're, there is a lot you can do with them. Like you can combine them. And when I say combine them, I don't mean hot glue them together. I mean like, say this was another cafeteria table. I know it isn't, but say it was. In a lot of cafeterias, they have the tables right beside each other. So you can kind of like do that. Um, you know, there's there's just a lot you can do with them. And... What I like about this DIY so much is the fact that these are, like, wooden tables, and I don't know, it, there's just something cool about that to me, because I don't have any wooden tables other than the ones I did myself. So, guys, that's really it. That's all that I have for you. Um, if you have, like, a question about this DIY or something was unclear, some of the directions... Just ask me in the comments, or if you think you did something wrong, tell me what you did, and kind of explain where you think you went wrong, and maybe I can help you guys out with that, because if I find that a lot of people were not able to complete this correctly, I'll probably redo this and explain things more. Hey guys, is this seat open? Yeah, sure. It was originally for Chelsea, but I mean, she didn't show up today. She was absent. Well, thanks. What's up, guys?